Hi, so we're going to look at contra-rotation. Now, contra-rotation is basically three gears where you turn one gear in one direction, the two attached gears turn in opposite directions. Extraordinarily useful for things like helicopters and drivetrains. Now, um, you can implement them in a whole range of ways, including friction gears and bevel gears. We're going to use peg gears because it's a, a really simple and fairly robust gearing system to actually use, and it's quick to make, to be honest. So we're going to use peg gears to do a contra-rotating system, and we're going to make it out of our old favourites, cutting boards. Now, what we need, obviously, are three gears, so we need three circles. Let's cut out three circles. Okay, so you need to make three like that. Now I've got eight teeth on it, and I do that by marking out a piece of paper, popping that in the centre, and then transferring the marks and measuring in from the edge, depending on how big I want the peg, and there's my pegs. Now because I've got three, te um, three wheels, eight teeth, I need 24 pegs, and this is made from nine millimetre dowel, just cut off and sanded round. And all you do is put a bit of glue in, and then knock it into its hole, and you keep on going around until you've got that. So that's one with the teeth already connected, and we need to make three identical to that. Now it doesn't matter how many teeth you put in, as long as when it's going to engage, the tooth can engage and then move out without fouling the next one and then continue the rotation. So the length of those teeth is just enough so it engages but doesn't foul and you can adjust that anywhere by moving that up and down and then you need the distance between them is just so that it can get clear. That's all you need to do. Um, the number of teeth beyond that doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. And there's the three gears complete. Now they engage like this, so as the bottom one turns, the two upright turns in different directions. So what we need now is to make a um, cradle to hold that all in relation. So I cut six of these, and you can see I've drilled a 22mm hole in there, but not all the way through, but there's a 12mm hole there. So I drilled the 22 out first, and then drilled the 12mm. And that's because I want these things to have bearings. So you just pop a bearing in there, and then it won't foul the axle, but it won't drop out either. You just do that to all six of them, and that's what forms the cradle. So once we've so arranged those uprights like that, when we engage this gear, Turning that gear turns those two in the opposite direction. So all we really need to do now is fix that down to a base, put a top on it to make it sturdy, and we're done. And that's it finished. Now if I rotate this handle in one direction, this will rotate in another direction, and this will rotate in another. So one will rotate anti-clockwise, and the other will rotate clockwise at the same time. I think that's really cool, actually. Anyway, there you go, a contra-rotating mechanism made with peg gears. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.